Hello, and if this is your first time with us, welcome to the Canting Club. This week we have a Spanish red from Penedes in northern Spain, just below Barcelona. Penedes is perhaps best known as the home of Cava, but it also produces Spain's best Cabernet Sauvignon. This reputation dates back to 1979, when the very first vintage of Torres's Gran Coronas Black Label triumphed at the Paris Olympiad organised by French magazine Gaumio over all the other red wines with a Cabernet base, including the legendary 1970 Chateau de Tour. That wine is today known as Mas La Plagna, after the vineyard in which it's grown. The Cabernet in this wine comes from a vineyard called Mas Den Tot, which was planted in 1983 in the wake of that sensational victory. It's not far from Mas Plagna, but it isn't 100% Cabernet Sauvignon. The producers of this wine, Mas Candy, are specialists in reviving ancient and almost lost Catalan grape varieties. So 30% of the grapes for this come from a different vineyard called Le Forc, which is planted with a weird and wonderful mix of Cannonau, Monica, Mando, Sumol and Roigenk. Mas Candy farm all their vineyards organically and they're great believers in hands-off winemaking. These grapes were hand-picked fermented in stainless steel, and then aged in French oak barrels, medium size, about 300 litres, for a year on their fine lees, before being bottled without fining or filtration. American oak barrels are more commonly used by Spanish winemakers. Cabernet is known for its dark colour, but this is practically opaque. I can see red at the rim and in the stains it leaves on the side of the glass, but the centre is just black. Lovely. It's got that hot climate Cabernet nose. There's rich dark fruits, but there are more blackberries than the black currants you more commonly associate with Cabernet, which makes it smell a bit more like Shiraz. But you can tell it isn't because of the herbs and herbaceousness that a Shiraz wouldn't have. That herbiness is, in this wine, it's a mix of eucalyptus and tea, and the herbaceousness is a note of green peppers, which is really common in Cab Sauve. I also detect smoky, well-integrated oak from those French oak barrels. It's more like charred wood than the vanilla you'd get from American oak. Mm. It's dry and full-bodied. I can feel the warmth of that 14.5% alcohol. There's a real density of black fruits in this, with blackberries and black cherries. But it's very smooth. In fact, it's practically plush. Only on the finish do you feel the tannins coming through. They're velvety and ripe, but they're quite strong. The acidity makes itself felt too. The finish is long and spicy, and also on there, I notice a distinct and very Spanish note of marinated black olives. Lovely. This is a real crowd pleaser of a red. It manages to marry impressive concentration with excellent balance, making it dangerously drinkable. <laughs> 